Hi everyone, welcome to Cool Farm Chickens. Today we're going to be looking at how to build one of our flat pack recycled plastic duck houses. All the packages are very similar, it's all flat pack. Uh, so whether you've bought a large or a small duck house, chicken coop, ark, wagon, it's all flat pack for you to assemble yourself. So this is obviously the large duck or goose house shed. Um, so we're going to open it up, I'm just going to build it here so you can see it, uh, how easy they are to construct. It comes in several different colours, at the moment we've got blue, greens, yellow and grey. Uh, might well be other colours and things available whenever you're watching this. Um, we went for blue so it stands out with, um, more in the orchard so we can spread it up. But yeah, go with whatever colour suits your enclosure. But all the pieces are made of the same recycled plastic. Uh, it's really really high quality and slots together uh, you don't need any tools or anything it just slots together like yeah you can't overset really This is what we're constructing. It all just slots together and you put the pins and pegs through. Uh, makes it really easy, e really easy to assemble. So we just follow the step-by-step -step guides and they really are quite simple. Okay. Right, this is the only bit you actually need tools for, just a screwdriver and a some kind of a spanner or something. These are just the bent covers. So it's all pre-drilled, just push them through, screw up the nuts, and then you've got, so you can close off vents on the side wall. Now you'll notice on these, they're textured one side, and smooth on the other. Build it always with the smooth size in. So that'll keep it a lot easier to clean on the, on the uh, inside there. So once you've got those on, then it is this case of slotting it all together. Now the instructions are quite detailed. So what I'll do is I'll talk through the bits I need but I'll just start uh, building it and then you can watch how easy it is to go. Okay, so basically slots through. This is basic idea for the whole thing. So these lugs come through, and you have a pack. These pegs literally hold it in place. makes the whole thing very easy to take apart if you ever need to move it so you're not carrying a really heavy thing around and also for deep cleaning you take the individual bits off um, so it's the same process all the way around so slot everything in put 
the uh, pegs in. So I'll do the main frame and we'll come back. front wall with your door entrance. Obviously the door on this is very large because this is the duck and goose. The uh, chicken coop ones have got a, a smaller door. But we need this for our growing ducklings. So same as before, just slots on. Thanks for holding in place. back wall is a little bit shorter than the front. Um, so again it slots in. And then we have the back wall extender goes on at the same time. in the top and then this piece is held on these lynch pins so and what that allows you to do is to easily fold this down and take this off so you can um, get in there with your broom and everything and sweep out the back so always leave a space behind this don't build this right up to your wall because you'll need to Take this out to get everything out the back. Okay. Next to your, your roof supports, they just clip on. Same as everything else. That's the beauty of the these is everything uses the same bits and pieces. So it's really easy. Quite simple. Okay, so that's your basic shape. And, uh, I mean, it really is that quick as well. We are pretty much there. So. You've got your ramp, to be honest, it's so low to the ground, um, might not even be necessary, but as we've got it, it just slots in, and that's held in place uh, with these grub pins here, so you put them through and hold them in place. Got a 
So if you do have a lot of ducks, this will stop them sort of crashing into it and hurting their feet. You just nicely got the ramping in. some handles here that you fit to the back and this just helps you sort of lift it up and move it around when you need to. I would advise two people who's when it's all together it is quite heavy. Well that pays to read the instructions. Notice the back was a bit floppy. I've missed this piece so this is just the back support. That goes on holds the uh, floor up at the back. Pins. And you can see the fox is not going to get through that. That is very, very secure. Now it's just in the roof. You line up the holes, that same as everything else. You've also got these handles on the roof once it's secure help you in moving it. Um, but use the little pins on this as well, which just holds it all in place nicely. Makes it everything easy to remove. And there we are, complete. So, you've obviously got your pin here. You let them out every morning. Um, and this one, because it is so large, you can do a lot of cleaning and egg collecting straight through the front door. It shouldn't be a problem, but if you need to get further in, you just take these pins out the roof. The roof pops off and you can get right in there with jet washers. You can also take the back off if you want to do it that way. So, it, it really is great. And this is the first time I've built one. Um, I've had it demonstrated to me, but it's the first time I've done one. And it, it, that really is easy. Um, it's brilliant, actually. So these are available on our website. We can have them all over. You've got duck houses and chicken houses. Um, big ones, small ones, different shapes, some interesting ones there. So have a look at those. Um, I hope this has been helpful. We've been Court Farm Chickens. And we'll see you on the next one.